Hey, everyone, welcome back to the 90th minute. We are your hosts. It's a full lineup tonight, I know. boys. We got myself, Let's... Liam. We got Waz. We got Lucas. And special guest, Greg. Let's start with the big news. <laughs> Hold on. Look how happy he is to be here. Yeah, yeah he's... I may have been forced to be here. <laughs> yeah, honestly. <laughs> if you're new to the podcast, make sure you hit like, subscribe. You got to start with the big news. Shut up. Comment down below. Get involved in the conversation. Well, Liam, the big news. What's the big news? Claudio Pizarro is retired. <laughs> <laughs> This is going to be one hell of an episode. The guy you didn't even know existed until now. Yeah, Claudio Pizarro. Good job. It's okay, we're not starting with Claudio Pizarro. I'm sorry. Okay, what well, about uh, Chris- Gareth Bale? Okay, fine. Gareth Bale has been Wait, Liam, kicked did, out did of the intro. intro. Did you finish the intro? I Just did. let him speak. I don't know if I you did. finished the intro. But yeah, comment, good. subscribe, get involved, talk. Give us all. five stars on iTunes. Okay. We bring this guy for one episode and <laughs> ruins everything. I make if everything you're new better, to the actually, podcast, yeah. this is not how it normally goes, but uh, it's going to be a fun night. So let, let's get it on. We have lots to talk about. Gareth Bale. Do you, Lucas, do you by chance have Zidane's quote in front of you? Yes. Okay, read of it off. Via the Spanish football podcast, uh, Gareth Bale wasn't in the match day squad today because the club is negotiating his departure. I hope it's soon. That would be the best for everyone. It's nothing personal against Gareth. It's just that oh, he has to take these decisions. These things have to happen. So he's confirming that Bale is... On his way out. Yeah. He like pre- so like, what kind of departure is this? Are they taking Uber or taxi? Probably Lyft, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> but, Shout uh, out to Lyft. <laughs> okay. This is huge because Gareth Bale, of course, was a world record signing when he went to yes. Real Madrid. He's a huge name, huge talent. The guy's won three Champions Leagues there with them. You know, he's a brilliant player. I don't think anyone in the world would dispute that. However, three, his time... Four Champions Leagues? Was it four Champions Leagues? They won three in a row and then... They did. You're very right. <laughs> More than wow. Tottenham as a club. <laughs> yes. But this is a player who takes huge credit. You know, he, He's a huge world-class talent. His time at Madrid has not been the best. I mean, he's had injury issues. He's had issues with fans. You know, he's mm-hmm. He hasn't fit in at Real Madrid. Where will he end up? Spurs. They're one of the teams in the Spurs. running. Spurs. My question is, do they have the money for him? Yes. Do they have the attraction for him? Yes. I mean, they do have the money, but it looks, if you believe rumors elsewhere, it looks like there's they're going to be signing a player named Los Celso from Real Betis for a high sum. I mean, yeah, this is what I do. I say cancel that transfer and get bail. I, Who, whoever's, could, could, I don't know who La Celso is, but you get bail over him any day. I mean, Giovanni La Celso is a good player, don't get me wrong, but... Who? Giovanni La Celso. I don't know who that is. He's good, he's good. He's young, he's good. But Gareth Bale, I think, is better. Eh, if yes, both, much better. If both players are available, Sign both, why not both? You're you, pre- want, you want to oh, rank up first? I mean, you're a Premier League club, you're going to recuperate that. I mean, they have a, a one billion pound stadium to pay off. That's okay. Greg. I don't know if that's okay. Greg, talk to me. What do you feel about this? What do you, what, let's break down Zidane's comments. Because I, I don't think okay. any of us have ever have ever really seen a manager of this stature at this club basically say, no, this guy's gone. No class. Not really, no. No, no class at all. None. He used to be a class. I mean, no. how he said no, it, it's no. like, it definitely is personal. Like, yes, it's one hundred percent personal. Just, per, you know, I, like I can understand guy. the headbutt in two thousand six, but this is different. He needs to stop this stuff. He needs to be more kind to, to his players and against play. I, you know, okay. you know. Play devil's it, advocate. His brother did just pass away a handful of days ago. Yeah, but you know what? Just, just, just you take on Gareth Bale. What did he do to you? What did the Welsh did, wizard do to get, him? Get Gareth out of his club. Get him to United. Would you want him at United? Of course. Yes, put him, would you not put him by Daniel James. Easy. Here's, here's the thing. Oh, we'll win the league. Here's the thing. Here's a, I'm going to hit you with some stats because that's what I'm going to be best at here. Zidane Zidane, of course, was a midfielder. Gareth Bale is an attacker. But Zidane played 227 games for Real Madrid, scored 49 goals, 66 assists, and won six trophies. Gareth Bale has played 231 games, scored 102 goals, 65 assists and 13 trophies. Well, Zidane wasn't the main goal scorer no, or no, the secondary I know, goal I know, scorer. I know. It, and also different Gareth eras Bale of football. Wasn't, Gareth Bale football. wasn't the Secondary top. goal scorer, though. And different Depends eras of football. Like, I, the football's completely changed from when Zidane played. The, I just, I'm just reading stats, Lucas. I'm not comparing the You two only players. read those stats to compare, though. I do not. <laughs> I just read them. That's all I did. I think you were comparing. I, I, I do nothing. <laughs> 
Well, I mean, well, then, where is he going to end up? Look, this is a huge player. It seems like it's very likely he might be going to China because they can match <laughs> his wages. Me Pisses me off. They can match his wages, yeah. honestly. It's, it's annoying. Yeah, go to China or Qatar. Go to Javi's team. Javi's. They, go to Celtic. <laughs> oh, God. I'd Gary love for Bale, Bale to Celtic. <laughs> yes. I'd love for Bale to go back to the Prem, though. Just make 100%. He's is, is either United it's, it's, or Spurs. He's a, he's a, he's a Premier League player. player. He's a Premier League player. 100%. Either United, Spurs, or Chinese club. It's not going to be United, though. I just Or Bayern. Okay, maybe two. Yeah. United, I don't see United. I don't see that. Um, Bayern, I mean, they are looking for wingers after the, the departure of Ruby and Robin. So the possibility is there. China, don't do it. You're better than that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I hope not. Agreed. You, you made not, enough money. Not. Spurs? What the hell? <laughs> just, nice just take less money to join Spurs. Simple as that. Well, if he does go to China, we can get the One Football app and watch the Chinese League. I have the One Football app. I will not be watching well, the Chinese I guess, League. I guess that's the next not thing. Not one, one Soccer, sorry. I will not be watching it. How much do you think they're in demand for it? If Zidane just wants him gone... How well, when Gareth want? Bale transferred from Tottenham to Madrid, it was $115 million. I don't know the pound figure of that. It was like 89. 89.90 kind Something of thing. Like yeah. 75? 80? The thing is, no team's going to pay that for him no. with his wages that he's going to demand. That's the thing. He's, he's going to want huge money wages wise. The only way I see him leaving is if it's like below 20 million. <laughs> Which would be yeah. crazy. That like for nuts, Bale to yeah. go, but it could happen though. Yeah, smaller, smaller transfer sum, but higher wages. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's an interesting situation. I yeah. Bale obviously hasn't been the most motivated player this past season. He's had a lot of injuries, hasn't lived up to what was expected of him this season. Yeah. He probably needs a new new start. Sometimes you hear that he's not all that interested in the sport. He's more interested in things like golf. So maybe that's a factor to consider. He's a good golfer, I must say. You've watched him golf? I follow him on Instagram, and he posts golf videos all the time. <laughs> but he, he's been injured for Do it, Spurs. most of the season. Do so. it. Yeah, but with Real Madrid. Spurs, Spurs sign Bale. They will but be then, title contenders. But if they bring in Gareth Bale to Spurs, he's going to have massive wages. What yeah. does everyone else in the club think? Can you think? keep Erickson? Can you keep Deli Alley? Can you keep Harry Kane? Yeah, he's a club legend. You bring him anyways. I think if Spurs want to be taken seriously in terms of top like top contenders, yeah, they need to bring in a superstar to be alongside yeah, Kane. True. I just feel like if he goes to Spurs, it's going to have a lot of internal conflict. Like guys wanting if if this guy's making this much money, Harry Kane's going to be like, "Hey, look at what I've done for you yeah, these 100%. past handful of I mean, seasons." But if you bring Gareth Bale and he probably plays on the right wing, does that mean Mora is all but dropped? You know, does that mean? I mean, how, how many Champions Leagues does Harry Kane have? Nothing. Exactly. 100%. No, but I'm saying, who who doesn't get a starting spot in this, if Gareth Bale comes in? Well, Lucas Mora? Christian Eriksen? Get Deli Alley. Deli Alley. Like, De- like, Lucas Mora Deli isn't Deli even Deli a starter Alley. all the time. <laughs> yeah. Like, he didn't even start in the Champions League final. He won a hell of a podcast so far. I, I mean, because I mean, he didn't sort of start the Champions League final because Ronaldo's there. Lucas Mora? I was talking we're about Lucas talking about Oh, I thought you were talking about Real Madrid. Oh, we're talking that's Spurs. Lucas Moore didn't start the final because, I don't know, Mauricio Pochettino sometimes doesn't know what he's doing. And he started Harry Kane. That really did not pay off for him, but yes. No, they were terrible in that final. They were not good. Well, no. Not, to be fair, Liverpool were terrible too, but they were... They were it, was, yeah, it, was, it was a bad final. Yeah. It wasn't great. Um, <laughs> But this is huge. I mean, he huge looks- player, huge drama, huge controversy. And does this maybe show a bit of unrest in the Real Madrid... Camp, let's call it. I wouldn't say it's unrest. I just think that Zidane wants his club to be in this certain way, and that certain way doesn't involve Gareth Bale. I think Gareth. I mean, they brought in these new players too, and it could be Bale maybe reacting to all that. Gareth and needs to go right below. Zidane just needs him to England. I agree. He's a Premier League player. Maybe even sign for Leicester. I don't think Leicester guys <laughs> wage. I'm sorry. I mean, you're gonna they're gonna cash in on Harry Maguire, but Wolves. still, Wolves. No, I mean, let's be honest. Let's be for real here. Spurs, China, Bayern Munich. I think that's the only three places you yeah. can end up. Oh yeah. I don't see him at PSG. No, 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 he's not. He's not a snake. Juventus are not signing any more players. Not at least him. I don't see him going to United. No, yeah, especially with them giving David De Gea a massive contract soon. 
then Harry have Maguire. two guys that insane amount of wagers. I don't think they want to add a third guy like that. I mean, it's United. They just Man, that's what happens when you're self-made. I'm like Man City. I'm sorry. What's our next uh, conversation topic, Lucas? Oh, well, we're done with that, so we'll talk. Well, the lift finally signs. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, about time we saw this coming. The longest transfer saga in the history of ever. Might have went to the wrong team, but that's but my opinion. But still it signs for Juventus on 75 million euros? Yeah, something like that with a 150 million release clause in three years. I'm actually kind of shocked it was only 75 million. Well, it's because uh, at the end of last season... Over Mars and the lit, I guess they agreed that they let him go for a reasonable price. I mean, fair enough, mm-hmm. but you know, he's such a big player. He's yeah, like one and, of the best players in the world. This last is season. like the second most expensive defender of all time at the moment. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> which is I'm crazy. That's well, it's gonna change. In a it'll, of time. it'll change in a week. Yeah, it'll change in a week. <laughs> <laughs> but just, I guess we'll talk, uh, touch on this quickly since we covered it last week and many well. weeks before. Uh, do you like this signing? Do it? Yes. Yeah. Do it's you, a good signing because I think it's the right team for him. Do you think they will? this will help them win the Champions League? That's still hard to say. Juventus are going to be a very, very good team next year. But so are Barcelona. So are Real Madrid. So are Liverpool. So are so is all Manchester the other City. Teams. Everyone else is improving as well. There's a That's lot the thing. of good teams out there. That's what the Champions League is getting so tight, so incredible. It, it's actually shocking how good these teams are getting that a team like Spurs can make a final. You know? Yeah. Like, there's a list of names before them to get yeah. to a final, and yet they did it. So, I mean, credit to Spurs. But mm-hmm. For, mm-hmm. For, for Juventus, good signing, mm-hmm. good move for Delet. He goes to a good defensive team, a good system. Yeah. I don't like it too much. Why not? I feel like this is just an excuse to win an easy title. Well, I mean, he can sit on the bench and win the title. He'll win Serie A. He's already yeah. won Serie A. Congratulations. Essentially, unless Inter Milan can prove, prove wrong, but the only title, should have went to Barcelona. The only title contenders would have been better. Against it would be Napoli. Would have been better if he went to Barcelona. Him and PK. You can still go PK's to Barcelona. A, PK's, yeah. I think, past his best. No, I think PK is one of the best last year. Yes, but he's past his best. And you, you know, you have Frankie De Jong there. You have the Dutch connection, and they those two could have. Ru- what if you, what if you those just two, like De Jong? Those two could have been the next generation of Barcelona after Messi, and they would have been fine. But no, Mister Mister Delis says I want to go Juventus and play with Ronnie Boy. Ronnie Boy. <laughs> Ronnie what's, wrong yeah. with, what's wrong with playing with Ronnie Boy? Yeah. He's learning from Chiellini, Bonucci, two of the best. He's learning defenders. from the. Aging defenders that yeah. are fantastic. That's okay. They can teach him. Let him more, have his fun. Which is just have Buffon the Buffon let, to teach him. Let him have his He's back. I mean, Buffon. I, Buffon's I, a, that transfer pisses I mean, me off. So Buffon much. is I'm a sorry. backup at this point. Pisses me off. He's a backup. You had your swan song. You had your your farewell tour. You come back. No, you leave a club like that after so many Look, years. He's gonna stay. be a backup. I don't care. Ch- Chesney's gonna be the starter. Don't I, get me on Chesney. Don't even start me with that. He's a great. He said he was a he's, world class goalie. He, he is a world class goalie. He's a world class. He's not good enough for Juventus, though. Wait, wait, There's a list of. How are you world class and not good enough for? When Juventus? they say he's world class, I think he's very good. I don't think he's world class. It's essentially an oxymoron. I don't think he's world class. I think he's very good. What about that message you sent after he made that save? He Probably said more he's good. Specific. I don't he's remember. Good. He's very good, he's a good but goalie. I just don't think he's Juventus good. No, I don't think he's. Up there with the best goalies. You. you know what I think about? It, I kind of hope Juventus win next year now. The Champions League. Yeah. Just to just so Chesney has. Yeah, the yeah, League. yeah. Him or, him or him or Bayern. <laughs> Anything can happen. Guys yeah, yeah. So essentially, now yeah, at this point, my team's in the Europa League. Depends on the groups. Don't get Anything wrong. can happen. Bad Anything match day. Anything can happen. What's next, Lucas? Uh, Steamrolling tonight. Okay. It, it, any news on the Neymar move? Neymar's not moving. You don't think so? No. Do you think no. he'll go to Real Madrid for Bail? No. You see that swap deal happening? I could see it, but no. No. Here's the reason. One, Neymar's making bank at PSG, and he's a guy who likes money, so he's going to stay there. Two, it's an easy league. He likes the, the convenience of just showing up midweek, you know, playing a game, having a good time, and then going home and playing Champions Three, League. Three, Real Madrid is brought in hazard. Exactly. Three, I don't think Real Madrid have the money anymore to sign. I mean, they have the money, but will they want to spend that much money? Mm-hmm. Probably not. And who really wants to take Neymar on board with all this baggage? He's kind well, of a, a lot of teams, probably. He's, but he's, so. kind of, he's kind of annoying. Would you really want to have that in the dressing room? I, I wouldn't want him at United. Doesn't fit our culture. <laughs> what culture? Him and Paul Pog would probably get along. No, no, they wouldn't. They cl- no, no. Your culture. If if you had Neymar 
Paul Pogba I don't know. plus Mourinho as manager. I don't know. <laughs> he goes with just Mourinho. I don't know. I don't, know. I, don't, I, don't, I don't think a lot of United fans would like Neymar. I mean, in all honesty, Neymar can go to two teams, either Real Madrid or Barcelona. Do Barcelona need him? Probably. But will they sign him after the, the massive Antoine Griezmann move? I don't see it. And I don't think Madrid will either. I just don't see it. Okay. So no. Neymar's staying. All right. Well, uh, so next. Will the Harry Maguire move happen this week? Yes. Yeah, 100% you think? Yeah. yeah. I hope so. United are desperate. They need a center back. I, I, I agree with them. Because they can't go into it's, the season with I mean, Lindelof, we, we, we go, Bailly, Smalling, yeah. Jones. They can't do that anymore. They need a solid number one center back, which will be and Harry Maguire. You're going to overpay for him. But th- this is a summer you, where we need to break the bank. The thing is, you're going to have to overpay because you're yeah. not a Champions League. So you have to entice him with money. And you know what? You're not a number one destination anymore. You're a great club, well, but you're not I a number one what, destination. I don't know both You're that. not. We're still the biggest club in the world. Financially, potentially, but not think, on paper. I think commercially we're still the biggest in the world. On paper, yeah, but yeah. Not, not in trophies and success yeah, rate. Commercially yeah. win you trophies? Well, sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes. Uh, but, um, but he'll be your number one, and I think Lindelof uh, beside him will be a good center back pair. I think United will have a... It's a strong back four. I think mm-hmm. Greg is I think right. Str- I think Wan-Bissak, it's strong. I actually watched the highlights against Inter Milan. Wan was actually pretty he decent. He looks pretty decent. I know. He has long I, legs. Yeah, he's, like, ah. his tackles are insane. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. Back four. Luke Shaw's improving. Yeah, Shaw's that's true. Shaw's getting less fat, so that's yeah. good. Yeah. He's and Lindelof is still Mourinho. pretty young. Lindelof so. still good. He's good. Ball yeah, playing. I mean, Barcelona won. I mean, I, the only weak spot I see for United is defensive midfield. Well, that's why we signed Bruno Fernandez. He's not a defensive midfielder. He's not a defensive midfielder. midfielder. I, He's a goal No, we need... We all, He'll play Matic and... No, exactly. We need, we need a creative midfielder. He's, He's not a creative ball. midfielder. He's a goal-scoring midfielder. He's like, like, yeah, that's what we need. Signing Golo Conte. No. <laughs> He's not, we, we need to... Yeah, Bruno Fernandez, Harry Maguire. We're going to challenge for the top four easily. Oh, yeah, you'll, you'll challenge for that's, the top four. I agree with you. <laughs> I'm glad you well, didn't say something else. There's also chances we'll sign Nicolas Pepe. I doubt that. Are you guys going to spend like over 200 million in the transfer window? Yeah, Why not? we got to break the bank. They got to sell. They, they got to sell the <laughs> junk that is in their club. And they got to sign good players. Who are they going to sell? Literally half their team. Yeah, I don't, know, money. I, I don't know who's going to want Phil Jones. You want <laughs> Fulham, you but want no, Phil someone, Jones? Someone will take Phil Jones. Like Celtic? Said, a, champi- <laughs> a, cha- a championship team, you know, the struggling defense, they might pick him up for Didn't they just get Phil Jones a new contract? Uh, yes, but listen... Those days are done, Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> they gotta sell them. You think Phil Jones wants to leave that nice, beautiful oh, God, Manchester no. United contract? God, no. Probably I mean, not. Ashley I Young. I mean, he was once tipped to Ashley be the next. Ashley Young could actually stay. He was tipped to be the next Bobby Charlton. Phil Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley Young what? can actually he stay. He was, yeah, back in the, in the early days. I, wasn't Bobby Charlton a midfielder? I know, I don't know. That that's the thing. Ashley Young <laughs> could be okay for, for defensive coverage. And, you know, he could fill in a couple of positions. Young can stay. Jones, get him no. out. Smalling, keep him. He's okay. He's be okay, guys. Off Smalling and Eric Bailly way. can be okay yeah. cover. Yeah. Um, yeah, Matic. And we also have Twan Zabe. I mean, can, he's can still you? unproven at the top yeah. level. Wasn't he on loan at Aston Villa last season? Yeah. It's Aston Villa. He got promoted. Oh, they did? I didn't, it, it, <laughs> I didn't even notice. No, at first, he didn't Aston know Villa was looking pretty good, actually. <laughs> I don't know. No, really. but, 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 you know, I think Matic is well and truly past his best. Yep. I mean, when he was brought in by Mourinho, I think he was already past his what best. What we kind of need is Mata in his prime. That would have been perfect. Mata? Unfor- yeah, Mata is... He doesn't play that role, though. No, but listen, listen Lucas. We also need an attack and create a right. midfielder. And just, they need an attack. I mean, you have Paul Pogba. Yeah, but we need more than one. Midfielder. Yeah. But then you need a guy to cover defensively so he can actually go forward. I mean, Fellaini's gone, so you can't toss him in there, but you know... But well, I mean, that's what I think. I think, mean, yeah, <laughs> if we can get Bruno Fernandez, he got them into the Champions League. I'll be happy. I'll be happy. Bruno Fernandez, Harry Maguire. How much money do you think Fernandez would cost? Oh, actually, I don't know. I think it's gonna be like seventy million. So you're talking between the two transfers, almost two hundred million, with add-on fees and da 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 da. And honestly, with our young players, I don't think we really need to sign too many more. Tahith Chong. Tahith Chong. You can't fully rely on young players. Lucas. <laughs> So he's strong to win the job. He's like, don't say that, him. Lucas. Don't say that. Like you, you, the players have to prove it at the first team level. Yes, yes. Mason Greenwood. He hasn't proven it yet. I mean, did you see what he did to Skernier the other day? Yeah, that's preseason. Skernier is clearly not ready for this. We've seen scenario. many young players have good preseasons and not show it when the things matter more. But they're not United players. 
Listen. What Listen. happened to my shader? Who? The guy who... Yeah, but I mean, okay, let's not talk about him. <laughs> Listen. You've been on United for far too long already. I agree. What's our I next love conversation it. topic? Well, an Englishman abroad, Trippier moves to Atletico Madrid. This, I think, goes down as the weirdest transfer of the summer. Mm-hmm. It was weird, and yeah, it was quick. I agree. Like, he, Kieran Trippier goes from Tottenham Hotspur to well, Atletico this is, Madrid. This is how you fund the bail transfer. How much was he? Like $20 million? That's, not, that's not Gareth Bale <laughs> money. I'm sorry. It's, I mean, a shame, it's a shame he left. Pissed me off because he was on my fantasy team. Here's the thing. Kieran Trippier had a very poor season last year. Injuries, of course, hampered that. But, you know, he, he his first season, he was a fan favorite. Last season, he was a fan most disliked kind of thing. So, I mean, I think this is a good move for him. Yeah, yeah. he gets to, he, he wanted to, I guess, challenge himself. He went and, to a good club. And it's, all, it's also good that he's trying to learn Spanish too. So... He'll try to fit in. Um, I think this works for him. He, uh, he went before he went to Tottenham. He was a Burnley player under Sean Dyche, and they were more of a defensive team. Yeah. So I think uh, Falco will be somewhat a similar mold. Although I'm reading that they're trying different styles of plays as well. So I guess we'll see. Well, they have to change a lot of things. I so. mean, yeah, I thought they were be, I think, a very different team next season because they have lost their entire mm-hmm. defensive line. Yeah, Felipe Luis left Andrew today. No, he wow. Where did he go? Uh, he just left the club. Oh, peace oh, okay, <laughs> wow. I don't know. Maybe one summer I, I heard he might be going to Flamengo. Okay. Go ahead. What an <laughs> odd transfer. Like, Brazil. He's Brazilian. I know, but still, you're still good go enough. Go to Syria. Go to uh, Inter. He's 33 or something. Inter- He's not even that old, Lucas. Ronaldo's 34, 35. Yeah, it's true. Felipe, like, Felipe Luis is not Ronaldo. I mean, yes, but you know. Yeah, he's turning 34 next month. It's not that old. It's old enough, it's but not that old. old. Okay, let's... Uh... No, but Trippier, good signing, good for him. Would you like to see more English players going abroad? I mean, we look at Jane Sancho. He's done okay. Yeah, Wayne Rooney said Jane and Sancho just stay at Dortmund. I agree. That's what Rooney said. Stay there, build, build a bit of your legacy, build your play style. And then you move to summer big. Mm-hmm. I hate the. I've said this how many times. I hate players that if he proves have one good season, season and then they're like like Joe Felix. One good season, boom, off to over big yeah. money signing. I watched his highlights from preseason. He looks pretty good. But listen, I mean, oh, so Mason Greenwood's not ready. Oh. <laughs> stay at the club. Build your credentials. <laughs> you know, like, doesn't like matter. Rooney. Doesn't... When, when, when Rooney was at Everton, you know, he built himself a little bit. You know, he he had, you know, he built his play style. But mm-hmm. then he moved for big money. But yeah. Well. Are you talking about his move from Everton to United? Yes. Okay, I thought you were talking about the move after. <laughs> no. That, that was him past his best. <laughs> okay, Um. well, Haller has made a big move to the Premier League. Uh, Liam doesn't know who that is. Where do you come from? Frankfurt. Okay. Frankfurt. He was part of the... Oh, he was just the, the other striker. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's actually okay then. Yeah, he was big part guy. of the big front three of Jovic uh, and Rebic with So Haller. basically, Frankfurt's getting relegated next year because they've sold their entire team. No, apparently they signed some young guy who's actually could <laughs> don't, be the next Jovic. Don't doubt the Bundesliga. He's, did you just hear what he just said? <laughs> what? They just signed some young guy who who's reminding him of, of Jovic. <laughs> No, Mason Greenwood's unproven. Oh, yes, exactly. This kid is so contradicting. What are you talking Listen, about? Man. This is what I'm reading. This guy, his name is literally almost the same. <laughs> Jovalevic. So basically, Serbian. They're, they're just finding Serbians yes. for fun. <laughs> but no, but hey, don't hate on Mason Greenwood. He's actually okay. He's actually from Bosnia. Bosnia. By Herzegovina. Play for Red Star. Yes. Uh, but how, do you like that West Ham finally have gotten a good striker? I mean, it's better than Andy Carroll, so yes. Do you think this can help them push for top six, or is that no, a little too far? That's too far, because there's a lot of teams that are pushed for top six. So seventh, you think they could get? No, they'll no. get tenth. I, I still see West Ham as a, a mid-table. This guy's a good goal scorer. Well, because yes. one guy to take to build a team. Um, who's, who's their defensive me. line? I mean, I, 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 can I just say something kind of silly, but sure. kind of serious? Sure. Holler has just joined the Premier League. You think he's not good enough, right? What is he? No, he's good. His price in fantasy football is already seven point five million. That's great. Yeah. Is that too high? That's, that's kind of high. I'm like, I can't even afford that anymore. Like, <laughs> he's good. He's a good striker. But again, he's got to prove himself in the Premier League, which not every striker can do. I think he can. I think yeah. he'll have a great Probably season. Built for he's, it. He is. He's built for a Premier League striker. Mm-hmm. It looks like he reminds me of Drogba. Let's talk about Drogba. Drogba. With his wow. build. I don't really see mm. his build, Lucas. Drogba. The best Premier League goal scorer of all time. No, he's not. Oh, yes, that no, guy. He's not. No, Made he's, for no, the no, Prem. He's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. Made for the Prem. No. He was good, but he was not better than Rooney. Oh, the king. Okay. Uh, <laughs> not better than Rooney. 
Okay. There's a lot of good ones. Yeah, uh, Alan Shearer, for example, legend. Newcastle may be making a signing. Yeah. Tell us who the signing is, Lucas. Joel Linton. Okay. Yeah. yeah Whatever. He's a good Brazilian striker. Whatever. He's a good good player. Whatever. I had him in few Newcastle falls with him. Piss club, Lucas. Why, why couldn't they spend this money when Rafa was there? Lucas, there was two months ago they were being linked favorites to sign Mbappe. <laughs> <laughs> they were supposed to be taken over by a multi-billionaire, sign Mbappe, and then win the Champions League. Yeah. Now they've got Steve Bruce and they're signing Joe Linton. This is Newcastle. <laughs> this is peak magpie bullshit right here. <laughs> Excuse me? I think this is a good signing, but not you, for the right club. If you I are a Newcastle, Newcastle United fan, right. I am truly I'm, sorry. Yeah. Like he's Mike Ashley needs to be just put on an island somewhere and forgotten about for I'll a while. I'll take over Newcastle. In your career mode? I, I can do both. <laughs> David both. Moyes. David Moyes. Yeah, give it to David Moyes. Moyes. Should give the career mode and goes in. Does everything that he does in career Steve mode. Steve Bruce is possibly the worst manager they could have had. It, it, I kept saying Gary Monk. He's better than that. Yeah, apparently, Gary Monk rejected it because he was on the... Apparently, on the list, Bruce was like number 11 or it something. It actually hurts my head. Newcastle. Gary Monk head. probably saw Newcastle like, no, I'm okay. I wouldn't yeah. touch that job. If I was a championship manager, I would say, nope, I don't want that one. Sorry. Alan Shearer said to Bruce to stay away from the job. You yeah. warned him. Yeah. I, well, Steve Bruce I see Newcastle money. getting relegated. Does, yes, they're going to be bottom. Yes. Yes. Maybe not. Eh, bottom. Even, even the true Jordy's scared. <laughs> of they, course he's scared. They sold Rondon yeah. to China. To be fair, Fuck you, Rondon. Joe I Linton you. can prove to be better than Rondon. I, I'm looking forward to Joe Linton. He's a good striker. Did they but... uh, keep Dwight Gale then? Yeah. 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 Let's see. If, but... He's a championship quality striker. Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll see. I liked Rondon a lot. He's one of my favorite he, Premier League goal scorers. <sighs> All right. Shite. One, this we mentioned this rumor Better a few weeks ago. Apparently, it's maybe forty-eight hours away from being finalized, according to a reliable source. Uh, Fakir to Real Betis. Absolute malarkey. Yeah, um, he was wearing a Liverpool kit last year. <laughs> now he's off to Betis. What happened? His knees must be Betis fucked. Betis are a top club, in <laughs> they're not. <laughs> they could get third next season. Nope. No. No. Nope. Didn't they do well last season? They did. They got 10th. But they're oh, not going to get <laughs> next season. I'm I'm sorry. I thought they were like top five. Never mind. This is... they, they were top five like a few years ago. If I was Fakir, I'd rather go to China. Honestly, like Fakir could go, well, we were saying he could go to, to Liverpool, he go to PSG, he go here, go there. But he had the knee injury. Honestly, his knees must be not good for him to not be. You know, the the, top these club. giant clubs must be like, no, I don't want them. You know, Spurs don't want them. Here's my theory. Here's your theory, Lucas. So, we know that Fakir is a very versatile forward. He can play attacking midfield, striker on the right, on the left. Yes. Uh, but what if this guy wants to be able to play just through the middle, his preferred role as an attacking midfielder, a role which many top clubs don't really use that often. And maybe these top clubs wouldn't offer him a role like that. They'd only ro- offer him a role like maybe a rotation option. Maybe sometimes he plays through the middle, but sometimes on the right. Maybe he wants to be able to play in a role that suits him a lot, play in a league that is suits his play style, and play in probably the second warmest city in the entire of Europe. He's right, you know. Here's oh, the thing. Or his knees are just really messed. <laughs> Here's the thing, Lucas. <laughs> but yes. If he wanted to be a center attacking midfielder, why not just stay at Lyon? Maybe because he feels he's done all he can at the club and the club wants a different challenge to motivate him. But that club him. could, you know, Champions League, Europa League, do well in Europe. Betis is not. Betis and all, not. Betis can also offer good wages. They they have the seventh highest salary in La Liga last season. No, I'm sorry. There, there's, there's I still be, find it weird. Yeah. There's like, I mean, even in Spain, we're looking at Sevilla, Valencia. There's teams better than Betis who could use him. But what if those teams aren't going to play in the role he well, might want? If this guy is making his decision based on, I want to play in this spot, I don't want to play anywhere else, then you know what? Piss off to Bay I and mean, we don't want you here. I agree with him. That's You're a professional footballer. You play where I tell you to play. That's that's not what yeah. I meant. Learn how. Would I, Fergie take I that? No. <laughs> Fergie give him a hair dryer. Mm-hmm. Fergie would play this man at attacking midfield if he. Would he? 
Would he no, change, he wouldn't have him on the team because he says this about to prima donna get on my club. He's not a prima donna. He Beckham. also has to be able to track back. If you, can't, if you don't track yes. back for Fergie, you're gone. Then you're gone. You're off the club. That's why he won titles. <laughs> why do we always bring this to Manchester United? <laughs> I'm just trying to be a shit disturber today. I gotta be honest. <laughs> okay, let's, let's talk about Zlatan. Yeah. Big old Ebro. Because I understand you have the Huddersfield and Patty Power stunt, but <laughs> what stunt? You didn't see that? No. The greatest thing in the history what of sports. What happened? Patty Power is a betting company. Yeah, they Britain, should sponsor us. And they're just no. they're just a banter company, basically. Their Twitter is great. Anyways, yeah. they were the official piss off. They were the <laughs> official sponsor of Huddersfield this season. Oh, good. So instead of putting it across the chest, yeah. they put the entire length of the nice. kit, and it just said Patty Power. That's excellent. Okay, I'm gonna buy that kit now. And they, well, they played. One preseason match with it, and then they're like, "Wait, this is a joke," and they just removed their sponsor completely. Yeah, and the jersey has no sponsor on it, but they're still sponsoring it. Patty Power, it's a, apparently it. a campaign they're having save our sh- shirt or something. Yeah, because they're like the kits are getting ridiculous with the sponsors. Mm-hmm. But yes, if you're into sport betting, bet with Patty Power. Oh, not that we're no, we're, we're not. Uh, we're not implying you to bet. We're not sponsored. Choose what you want to but do. Bet with Patty Power. Okay, Zlatan. Yes. Derek to Zlatan, the, yes. guy's a, the guy's a lion. He's better than everyone else. Major League Zlatan. So before this game, he was asked about Carlos Vela and some saying that Carlos Vela might be better than him. Carlos Vela is the top goal scorer in, in the MLS. He plays for LAFC. He's 29 in the prime of his career. Zlatan, of course, is 37, winding down his career, living his best life, and yet he's putting up similar numbers. So what did he say, Lucas? He said that about Carlos Vela, he's playing in MLS and he's in his prime. When I was 29, where was I? Mm-hmm. And so these two big rivals played each other. LAFC has been one of the best El MLS Trafico. teams. And their goal difference is insane. It's like significantly better than anyone else. They're a very good team. Where was yeah. this last time we went to go watch a New York Revolution or whatever? He scored a bicycle. Scored I know, but <laughs> they could have. They at least could have won the game. We actually looked into tickets for this game, and they were very expensive. Oh right, yeah. yeah. Uh, we would have gone to this one. <laughs> so LAFC are first in the Western Conference, plus thirty-five goal difference. The closest team in the Western Conference is Minnesota with plus eight. And what position is LA Galaxy in? Uh, they. What the, I'm pretty sure second. Yeah, I'm pretty sure second. For second. some reason, Google's messing up. It was second. Yeah, second place. They're uh, right now. They're nine points behind because they did get this big victory over LAFC. Yeah, it was a three-two final, but it was great. It was a fantastic because match. Because opening eight minutes was it? Carlos Vela scored a goal, uh, make it one 0 for it, LAFC. It was like the fourth minute. Fourth I think. minute, and then Zlatan came and said, "Listen, I run this league." <laughs> Scores a hat trick, left foot, right foot header. Mm-hmm. Perfect hat trick. Perfect hat trick. Mm-hmm. Yep. Plus, on his third goal, he launched a man to outer space. So there was that. <laughs> Absolute scenes. Carlos Vela did score a second to make it 3-2. But Zlatan has the last laugh. Gets the big old W. And after the game, he says, I'm a Ferrari. These are all Fiat's. You can't compare me. And I go, fuck yeah, Zlatan. He's You're a said, damn good Ferrari. He said. He also said to an LAFC coach, go home, you little, yeah, say it, Lucas. Home, you little say bitch. It. Fuck off. He's like, he told him. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. <laughs> And then he also talked about the, uh, on MLS's future growth. He said, those that control it, the owners, do you think they want it to be big? I don't. Yeah. But don't you just... I mean, I mean, his reasoning for that comment was because he said MLS is trying to be like a business. They're in the business of making money where you go to Europe, big teams don't really make money. They just kind of break even, but... I know what he's. I can see what he's saying, but MLS is growing. I mean, I mean, I think uh, this league is improving. He also yeah. said that there's like more rules than he has in his own house. Could you imagine living with Zlatan? <laughs> this would be a free for all. I think <laughs> you wouldn't want to get a fight with him. Oh, it'd be great. It'd be just a great time living with Zlatan. <laughs> MLS is something. I swear. I like it. <laughs> I don't mind MLS. You go to one match and you like. I'm to two matches actually. Well, do you see the goal against Round FC? No. The one, the striker, he beat like four of their defenders and scored? No. Awful defending. <laughs> oh my god. I just feel like with MLS, there's good teams, but then there's also a lot of bad teams that just 
don't play the sport that well. Well, that's because it's there's no promotion relegation, right? I mean, they miss out on playoffs. They miss out on playoffs. They're still in the league the next season. You know, if if like the Premier League, there's a promotion relegation system where you know what, hey, if you lose and you go down, you don't get this money. There's more incentive to get better players to improve your coaching, to improve your facilities, yada yada yada. But the league is still in its infancy. I mean, it's only been how many years? A decade or so. Mm-hmm. Like you're still building the groundwork of you know scouting, youth development, coaching. You know, MLS has come a long way in the years it's been around. I mean, we're here talking about it, and it's shown globally. I mean, you gotta thank David Beckham for that. You gotta thank. Pirlo, David Villa, Zlatan. The big it's stars huge names going finishing attention. off their careers there. Yeah. Yeah. Next to be Ronaldo, I think. I respect the more of the teams like LAFC and Atlanta United who are trying to be good going into the league, bring something different. Yeah. Uh, but a few more quotes from uh, that match. Uh, oh, yeah. Vales said that comparing me would show a lack of respect towards him. But if we look at the stats and forget age and whatever, I'm better than him right now. And that's the reality. Congratulations, and then, Carlos. You're 29. He's 37. And then Zlatan said, a mistake to compare me to Vela. Yeah. Anything else to talk about tonight, Lucas? Uh, well, preseason chatter. The preseason still going on. Can it end already? Real Madrid. It's coming soon. Lost well, 3-1 to Bayern Munich. Wow, so you, you guys are actually winning games and you want yeah. it to end? No, because we're going to continue in the Premier League and you're going to say sorry. Pull and beat a Premier League side. Let's go. Good yeah. job. Brighton. Hey, like your oh. second win of the season. <laughs> Liverpool had a player murdered on the field, basically. Jeez, that was a disgrace of a tackle. I can't believe I saw that, man. It wasn't even that bad. It was... <laughs> I mean, it I've seen good. worse. It wasn't good, but I, I've also seen worse. I'm not gonna. It, I'm not going to say it's a disgrace. It put a guy on the stretcher. In shame. a preseason game. Well, to be fair, he should. The fact that it was preseason and that happened is what Could really. Could you blame the me. player a bit more, though? He, did you see how he dove? He just <laughs> hit the ground like nothing, started rolling. He probably broke somebody because of the rolling. <laughs> Who are you talking about? The Liverpool player. Whoever no. got hit. <laughs> are you? He got kicked pretty good on the side of the leg. I know, but I can wanna, But yes, I, I would have gotten up and played. <laughs> <laughs> Advantage play on. <laughs> well, you'd be crying. No, you, you, should, you should see some of the guys that try to take me down during the They Sunday. haven't broken your leg. Was. In Sunday. It was. My, yeah, my but place. Greg, they tried to take. What have you gotten up and played? That's basically the same. Do you thing. Many players have cried this season because their foot got stepped on? Oh my foot got stepped. I'm like, go on, keep playing. People step step on my foot. I just continue playing. Yeah, yeah but you haven't gotten your ankle kicked as from a guy who's kicking the, your leg as hard as he can. I, I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't go out to say it's this giant disgrace. The way you're exclaiming it to Three, me. It, it, it's just, I've seen worse, but because it's a friendly, that's what gets me. I know, but it's not like he <laughs> it, killed the guy. It's a friendly. He goes kick the guy just because they didn't get a foul. Yes, well, he clearly belongs in the UFC and not the wherever <laughs> league. It's a preseason. It was an all league. The good thing is this guy did apologize on Twitter straight straight after the game. He did it to a guy who's tr- who's only eighteen. That's oh, it's, it's a think, good girl. It's yeah, good, he'll recover it's fast. Good, it's, good <laughs> it's, it's a good learning. It's a good learning curve. You're gonna be playing the Premier League. You're gonna get used to that. Jeez, <laughs> Ronaldo was getting used to it when he was playing the Premier League. Games. He didn't get kicked like that. Oh, I don't know. You should see something. He definitely got kicked in the ankle a lot of times, which is very painful. But he didn't get yeah. kicked from a guy trying to kick a guy's leg 100 you know, ter- miles per hour. Is very One terrible tackle is a couple is years upset. ago. Never mind. You know, I'm like, of course I'm like, I am. This is a promising player. You know who, you he got stretched off. You know, you know who would be a fan of that tackle? Hmm. Nemanja Vidic. Oh, definitely. <laughs> right through the man. Let's Crunch. do it. Roy Keane. Roy Keane. <laughs> Kino. Are you not a fan of crunching tackles in the hard ball of the game? I prefer watching yeah, again, football. Again, it was a friendly. He prefers Spanish football, where it's not exactly. Lucas watches the Listen, second we, French league. Here, here's, okay. the here's, the thing. Thing. here's the thing. Here's the thing. Let me explain something to you here. The 90th minute, excluding Greg because he was busy, went to a preseason friendly between Cardiff and Real Valladolid. Very odd game. Valladolid. Valladolid. Really want to pronounce it. Very odd game. It was in our city though, so we went to it. Anyways, here's my point. Cardiff City, playing the Premier League, or they did, play in the English division. There was a few, not 
bad, but meaty challenges. Let's call it that. You know, physicality. The Spanish players were rolling around as yeah, if they'd been shot. Honestly. The Canadian fans who you know, we're just there for a good time. We're actually booing the Spanish players because yeah. of their antics. Yeah. Lucas likes the quality of Spain. He likes the passing. He likes the movement. We say, get into them. Let's have a good old fight for 90 minutes. I mean, to be fair, the card, there was a one card of player who was trying to be friends and tried apologizing to the Real Valo whatever <laughs> player. And he starts trying to... Sandro. Move. Yeah, he wasn't happy. So he and pat him on the back. He's like, don't touch me. Yeah. Like, Relax, Relax, dude. Relax, hombre. <laughs> Sandro, the former Everton player. Yeah. Uh, how's Celtic doing in the preseason? I mean, we're okay. Yeah. I haven't really kept up with it too much. We're, we're in Champions League qualifying right now. Oh. We're in our second group already. Where are you playing? We beat a team from Bosnia, I think it was. Now we're off Look, yeah, I'm somewhere. I United have been playing great. We're, I mean, we beat Leeds, we beat Perth, we beat Inter. We're just playing a bunch of Eastern European teams right now. Oh, good, good. But the, the bad thing is the next round, we could get Red Star Belgrade, and they'll probably beat us. So I mean, he's trying the Champions League. Yeah, yeah. you're not. Imagine uh, if United and Celtic play each other in the Europa League. That'd be great. It would be great. We'd have to have like a watch along. <laughs> we'd beat them easily. But... I mean, you should. Yeah. One Basaka is the goal. One of your players is worth more than our entire team. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's wrap this yes, up. Yeah. Yeah. This has been a good night. I, I've, yes. I've enjoyed this podcast. Yeah, I hope you guys at home pint. have as well. It's time for a pint. It is. If you are on YouTube, make sure you hit subscribe, like the podcast, follow along, comment down below, get involved with this conversation. If you're on Spotify, follow us, share us, all that good stuff. From myself, Liam, from Waz, Lucas, and special guest Greg. Hi. This has been yet another week in the beautiful game. See you next time.